Yeah, YouTube fam. Bobby Killer in the space again. Yeah, today, I want to big up. Arguably, the greatest female sprinter of all time, Shelly and Fraser Price. She's made the official announcement say, after the Paris Olympics this year. That is it. She has got hang up her spikes. She said her family, family, and a family, and a, and a family road that she takes. She said, you know, her family sacrifice enough for her time for she do the right thing, spend some time with her husband and her child. I mean, at 37 years old, she don't need to do nothing more. She don't need to prove nothing else. Yeah, one of the real great ones with a real great story. Shelly and Fraser Price. From nothing to something. And hear the irony of it. Shelly and Fraser Price became Olympic champion in 2008. I mean, there are other sports and other commentaries. Right, just in Jamaica. From before that. I know I've never had an interaction with Shelly and Fraser Price. Me tell you that story already, you know. Yeah, me and I, I make four months in two times. But you know, two in me because me tell you already. But on the day when we used to pressure and suffer, she did dead. There's one to suffer. Soldier them. She never boss yet. But she did dead among suffer. You know, them athletes they never like how we used to pressure and suffer. But you don't forget to be do all over again with that do it the same way, though. Because we still think suffer they deserve the pressure when we don't get them time. Yet. So I don't have a personal interaction with Shelly and Fraser Price. Never talk to her. As we said, two times we interact with her. Not interact. Two times we get in the same space with her. Remember? Remember the first time. No, three times. Remember three times. The first time was, I think, was in that trials there for 2008. You know? The trials for the 2008 Olympics. When we up at the stadium and I think we see she run. The race there she run and, and we said, Everybody has said, I would have a little girl there. Eh? We don't know her. You know, if, if you're not in the track and field circles, you wouldn't know her. And then we say, okay. And there's another time when we go in and steal them again and she that talk to MVP boss Bruce James. And we hear Bruce James and she did it, but she looked the other way. And the next time now, right at the TV station, she did come for the one of them programs there. Eh? And you know, them have a makeup era where the makeup artists them look after the, the guests them before they go up on TV. She in the makeup area and me. I think we step in the makeup area and she in the makeup chair. But she just want to give me that look there again and just look at But that's not that, that, We don't take that. <laughs> we don't take them something personal. We tell you where we think it come from. Because I've never had reason to criticize Shelly and Fraser, Fraser Price. And in that, in that 2000, build up to 2008 period, I was not one of the, the people with a platform. We are saying if we put VC, me in the race and left out Shelly and Price. But never the other side of the argument. You understand me? But I've never had reason to criticize Shelly and Fraser Price. I want a warrior. I mean, love warrior in a sport, you know. You know, regardless of, of talent levels and regardless of, of all of them something. But you see, when, they, when you're a warrior and you put a warrior spirit there with the talent, you get you get champions like Shelly and Fraser Price. Me think she have one little regret still. She didn't really want to break the 100-meter world record there. Yeah, she stopped at 10 6, but don't know if she can get back down to 10 6 again. But you remember that the season gone. She did play with Angel last season, but the season before that, she did really a gear blast after that 100 meter world record. Eh? She never get it, but it's one of them records. Eh? Everybody knew it unreasonable. You know the circumstances and it unreasonable. But you could have asked not more of Shelly and Fraser Price people. Can't ask not more in terms of. Achievement in terms of her story, she deserves all the accolades she get. She deserves all the, 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 the international accolades, the, the, the greatness accolades. She deserves all of them something. I want a warrior, real warrior, a real champion. And still, if you go on and do it for so long, you know, even that 37 now, you know, to be still relevant, to be still going to what she said, fifth Olympics now, yeah, man, a big. Superstar that in the annals of Jamaica's sporting history, in the annals of Jamaican track and field history, in the annals of Jamaica's sprint history. We hear some people that do the cross comparison and say, Yeah, compare she and Bolt, which one of them greater. We don't want to do that something. We don't have the cross gender comparison. Yeah, we think Shelly do what she do on the female side, and Bolt do obviously what he do over the other side. Yeah, we don't think. We don't think you can have a legitimate goat debate without Shelly and Fraser Price being the first name in it. 
goat of sprinting we are talking about, you know, worldwide goat of sprinting. But I don't think we can go around it. One of the important things we we'll always point out about Shelly and Fraser Price, you know, being a former coach, a good friend. The coach from Bullman's way, played a part, far, part, play a part in our formative years. Michael Carr, I'm a good bridge, you know, every now and then me and him have a little chit chat about her. One of the things that we read about Chile and Fraser Price, you know, one of the instructive things about her career is that she was a fairly good champs athlete, but she wasn't that. She went to Woolmers, so she never got that Diego, Edwin Allen, very technical, overboard circles. She never in other circles. Eh? And that's something we always say, especially the male athlete, but it applied to Shelly and Fraser Price as well. She went to Woolmers and she did her thing at Woolmers. She was the big, Mega star in a champs in a champs context, but she do her thing. But if you want some little girls to look on a seen a Jamaican athlete and say, "I want to be like that," it will be Shelly and Fraser Price. <laughs> yes, you get what I said to you. Yeah, man. In terms of our attitude, our work ethic, our our being, our professionalism, our general success. As we said, the only little gap in our success is that. She never really have a relationship with the Maverick. When we say relationship, <laughs> we never really have a rapport. They have never interviewed her and I never spoken to her. See, but that, that aside, that aside, Shelly and Fraser Price are the goat, man. Are the goat of female sprinting. With all due respect to Berlin, OT and VCB and even Ilian Thompson era, we still are doing what do and still have some things. Pamphia resume where Shelly not have. But if you consider everything, body of work, longevity, quality of performances, quality of big performances, Shelly and Fraser Price are the good. By a little, by a little distance, you know. We don't think it close. Obviously, you have people debate and something you have who they like and who they prefer. Because you know, say so you can't stop fans from doing that. You have to have people who prefer Ilian Thompson era. Be like Ilian Thompson era too, you know, especially the fact that people. A lot of people coming like them don't like her. Yeah, them kind of people there. Eh, you kind of make me have a little soft part of my heart for people. Where people don't like. Shelly are the opposite. Shelly is highly likable. People love Shelly and Fraser Price because her personality and uh, her, how she, how she, how she delivers herself and all of them something. But me rate. I love all of them. Me don't, want, me don't carry that tribal mentality there. Eh? If me rate Shelly, me can't rate Ilian. Me rate the two of them. But if you go objectively, put on the goat debate there. Eh? Shelly and Fraser Price are going to beat them. I go beat them, man. She are going to beat them. I mean, feel Shelly importantly to you. Know. I feel she inspire the generation of sprinters, you know. Not just the young one that we are coming, you know. The generation are contemporaries, you know. Because they're younger than her. People like the same Elaine and Sharika. Shelly must be an inspiration. It's like how Berlin and VCB must have been an inspiration for Shelly. I feel Shelly was an inspiration for that generation, yeah. We are competing with her now. So big up Shelly and Fraser Price. Yeah. Farewell. You do your thing good. Man. Big up yourself. And the, you know, the other phase of your life. Get one more push now. You don't know. If you can't go podium in a Paris. You don't have to do it. If you be the goat, you know. But it will be like a bonus achievement. If you go podium in Paris. Oh, that's all. Shelly, use that as a little. Yeah, podium in Paris. And that's a Shelly and thing there. Podium in Paris. Yeah? Podium in Paris. We like it. Big up Shelly and